Hello friends. Today I'll show you where and how to configure Discord to properly and efficiently create your images. For this, we will use the Discord chatbot in which I showed you how to register. You learned about this from the previous video. The link is in the description of this video. Let's move on to the second step now. One moment, I will now start lesson two, settings. Open Discord, click on the Mid Journey button. As you can see, there are many channels available to us. We don't need to explore all of them. We only need the basics. The first one is Announcements. This channel usually contains announcements from the company's management. The second channel is Status. In this channel, the Midjourney team usually communicates the status of server operations or when they are planning to restart them, making them unavailable. The third channel is Community Updates. These are official updates and messages from Discord, providing administrators and moderators of public servers with information relevant to public servers. Now let's focus on the channels where we'll be working. They all start with the word newbies. Each of us may have different numbering for them. It doesn't matter. Whichever we choose, we can start working and creating our images here. We'll discuss how to create images in the next video, but for now, let's look at the settings necessary for creating drawings. In this field, Enter the Settings command, which starts with a slash sign. Then press the Enter key on the keyboard. A table with all the specified settings parameters appears before us. The Settings command provides toggle buttons for common options like model version, style value, quality value, and upscaler version. Settings also has toggles for the Stealth and Public commands. Let's consider them all in order. Model Version drop-down. Select the Mid-Journey model version to use when generating images. Use the latest model is the default selection and will always use the newest Mid-Journey model version. Style Raw Parameter Mid-Journey Model Versions 5.1, 5.26, and Niji 6 can be fine-tuned with the Style Raw Parameter to reduce the Mid-Journey default aesthetic. This toggle is not available if other model versions are selected. Stylize Parameter The Mid-Journey bot has been trained to produce images that favor artistic color, composition, and forms. The stylize or S parameter influences how strongly this training is applied. Low stylization values produce images that closely match the prompt but are less artistic. High stylization values create images that are very artistic but less connected to the prompt. Public and stealth mode. Toggle between public and stealth modes. Corresponds to the public and stealth commands. Remix Mode Use Remix Mode to change prompts, parameters, model versions, or aspect ratios between variations. Remix will take the general composition of your starting image and use it as part of the new job. Remixing can help change the setting or lighting of an image, evolve a subject, or achieve tricky compositions. High and Low Variation Mode 
toggle between high variation and low variation mode. Sticky style. Sticky style will save the last style code parameter used in your personal suffix, so you don't have to repeat the code on future prompts. Change codes by using a new style or unselecting sticky style. Turbo, fast, and relax mode. Toggle between turbo, fast, and relaxed modes. Corresponds to the turbo, fast, and relax commands and the turbo, fast, and relax parameters. That concludes the settings command. Now we need to create our own personal server. Let me explain why. When creating images in the general chat, user-generated drawings appear so often that we can easily get lost and spend a long time searching for our own work. To avoid this, I suggest creating your own personal server where only you will work and no one will disturb you. To do this, click on the gray button with the cross icon. In the window that appears, select Create My Own. Next, choose For Me and My Friends. Give the server a name. To make your server stand out from all the others, designate it with your own image. Click the Create button. As you can see, our server has appeared in the general list and differs from the rest. To get our server up and running, let's invite some friends over. Since we don't have anyone, let's add our bot as a friend. To do this, click the Users icon. Select Mid-Journey Bot and click Add App. Choose the server we created. Click Continue then click Authorize. Confirm that we are not a robot. Everything is ready. Now we can get down to work. If you no longer wish to use this server and want to delete it, do the following. Right-click and select Server Settings. Find the Delete Server button. Enter the name of your server. Click the Delete Server button. That concludes the lesson on settings in Midjourney. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to create images. Until next time.